Hello and welcome to our Shopify tutorial video. Today, I will guide you on how to add different mega menus to your Shopify store. So, let's start with creating menus and submenus. First, go to navigation from the Shopify dashboard. Then click on add menu and click add a menu item to create menus. In the add menu items you can give the menu item name and link as per your wish. For example, I'm creating four menus like home, cake, ice cream, and about us. We have created menus. Now we have to create a submenu and a child submenu. For that I'm creating a one submenu by clicking add menu item, giving the name as submenu1, and the link as the hashtag. You can give as per your wish. Now drag and drop the submenu into the cake menu. After that I'm creating four submenus by clicking add menu items to cake. Again click add menu to create a child submenu. Give a name and link as you want. I'm giving content one and a hashtag for the link. Now drag and drop the child submenu into the submenu. I have created and arranged two child submenus for each submenu. I'm giving the main menu as the title for my menu items. Now we have successfully created menus and submenus. For this tutorial, I've chosen the Keiki theme from the Buddha Themes portfolio in ThemeForest. This theme is mainly built for cake shops with all the cool looking features you could want. You can check out the theme demo link provided in the description below. Now get back to the online store and click customize option. Click the header from the left side and click on add a block to create mega menus. There are five types of mega menus. Let's see one by one. First, click on promo image and see the map item on the right side. You have to type the menu on which the mega menu should appear. AM typing cake, which I have some submenu added. In column style, I have chosen four and uploaded some images on image one. You can add up to four images to the promo image. If you want you can add headings, buttons, and links. Let's see a preview. On preview, there are only four submenus, and I can't see the image that we add, because we have chosen four columns in column style. First priority goes to submenus. You have to increase the number of columns to make the image appear. Now I'm choosing five columns and clicking save. Let's see the preview. Now see four columns taken by submenus and fifth column taken by the image we uploaded. Now, move on to the promo banner. Click the add block from the left side and select the promo banner. On map items again am giving cake, and four column in column style. Upload images in banner 1 and banner 2 and click save. Let's see this preview. On preview, Firstly the banner image appears but only three submenus appear and the second banner doesn't appear. On the promo banner, first banner image is preferred to be in the first column and the second banner is preferred to be in the last column. Now we can change to six columns in column style and see the preview. Now you can see both banners and four submenus. If you want four submenus and the last banner, go to customize and change to five columns because I have only four submenus, and remove the first banner. Let's see a preview. Now we get exactly what we want. Now, move on to the brands. Click the add block and select brands. On map items again I'm giving cake and four columns in column style. Upload brand logos. I'm uploading four logos and clicking save. Let's see the preview. For submenus and four brand logos appeared. If you change three columns in column style, the preview will be three submenus and four logos because, in this brand, only the submenus will change, and the logo remains the same. Now, move on to the product. Click the add block and select products. On map items again I'm giving cake and four columns in column style. And choose a product you want by clicking select product. I have chosen all four products. You can choose as per your wish. Let's see the preview. Only four submenu are shown because we have selected only four columns. Now I'm changing to six columns in column style. Let's see the preview. We got four submenus and two products. Now let's see without submenus. 
For that I'm changing the cake menu to an ice cream menu in which the submenus are not available. And change the column style to 4 columns because we have only 4 products. Now, click save and preview it. I have explained 4 different types of mega menus. The tab menu will be explained in the next part of our video. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to drop them in the comments section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you for watching. And happy selling!